Hey everyone, I hope everybody is doing fine. I hope your week has been going well. I'm going to talk about something real quick and read uh, to you something that is, some would call questionable and some would say, yeah, this is really happening. Okay. This is something that you have to decide for yourself. I don't care. If you are a Democrat or, or a Republican or an Independent or a Libertarian or Greenpeace or whatever, I don't care. What I am about to read to you, you're going to have to decide what you want to believe. You can do your homework. You can look up what's going on. But I'm just going to read this to you and you make your own conclusion. You come to your own conclusion. Look around you. Look at different news articles. Both sides of the aisle. See what people are saying. Uh, check out different YouTube channels. And decide for yourself. But I will tell you this. If this is true, then you have, to, you have to get on the ball and really get ready and prepared mentally and physically, emotionally and everything else. If it's not true, then it's a good story, okay? It's a good fantasy. If you are a Marxist or communist, this story could very well please you. This might even thrill you. But let me remind you, you're not, you're not important. Just like everybody else, you're not important. Unless you are very rich and you're one of the elite crowd that they speak about in this article, you're nothing. And you will be a victim just like everybody else. That's something to think about. Okay? So let's start. Now this article uh, this article originally appeared on Leo Homan's Substack and was republished with permission guest post by Leo Homan. And this is posted on the Gateway Pundit, which, yes, it is a right-leaning um, website, news place, but it doesn't matter. We're not, they're not doing politics in this. There's no Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Independent kind of stuff on here, okay? This is... For information only that you can do homework on and decide for yourself, okay? The convergence of multiple red alert warnings is staring us in the face, all pointing to a major event of some type in the upcoming weeks or months. Whatever it is, this new catastrophe will hasten the collapse of the old world system, a collapse of economies and political structures that is already underway, paving the way for the Great Reset, or as some call it, the New World Order. I call it the beast system. Predicting the timing of such an event is impossible, but I do believe we are looking at a major shock event happening roughly within the next three to nine months, a year at most. The reason is simple. The billionaire globalist oligarchs desire to bring about a situation which involves digitization of money and human beings, dehumanization, humans replaced by transhuman hybrids, destruction of all cultural norms, male, female genders, the ability to reproduce without technology, etc., and depopulation of those deemed useless eaters. These are the four D's needed to bring about the total control that globalist tech, technocrats seek to extend over all human behavior 
in a restructured world run by artificial intelligence and based on the elimination of all fossil fuel usage by the common man, non-oligarchs. If only the oligarchs have access to fossil fuels and only the oligarchs are allowed to reproduce and enjoy freedom of speech, what you end up with is one world slave state. And that's exactly the goal. So the four Ds are used to get the fifth and final D, which is dystopia. In the eyes of the global globalist predator class, they're reaching for their utopia. But for the rest of us, it will be a living hell, a dystopia. These globalist oligarchs were only able to destroy so much of the old world order with COVID. And they need another big crisis event in uh, to finish the job of achieving all their dystopian goals, which are encompassed in the Agenda 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. They played language games reminiscent of Orwellian newspeak to make us think the SDGs will bring about utopia. In reality, the masses will be ushered into the nightmare of dystopia. If the globalists continue to pressure their minions... Whoops. Pressure their minions in national and state capitals in to enact their Green New Deals and Net Zero campaigns. The masses will eventually wake up and come to these globalists. That awakening has already begun, and that is why it is urgent that they escalate a full blown World War Three scenario, which includes famine and shortages as soon as they possibly can. The window is closing on the King Charles-initiated Great Reset. And so it is time to double down on destruction and depopulation. If they don't, they will never get to full digi di digitization and dehuman ah, dehumanization, the end of human history, as Yuval Harari explains in the video below. If you want to see the video, what he says... This guy is the lead advisor for Klaus Schwab. So if you want to see that, go to the Gateway Pundit on this uh, article. Russia is an obstacle to their plans for a truly one world system. Not because of Putin being any kind of hero, but because of the Russian people and their will to survive under a purely Russian leader. They will not ac accept a World Economic Forum puppet like the U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe have accepted to rule over them. They don't mind an author authoritarian strongman, but it must be a real Russian who is in charge. Russia and Putin may be on board with dig digitization, but not with the other three Ds, dehumanization, destruction of all cultural norms, and depopulation, largely due to the strong influence of the Russian Orthodox Church which remains much more traditional in its thinking than the Roman Catholic Church. If I'm right, and the globalist oligarchs have another shock event planned within the next three to nine months, that means the window for preparedness is also closing. You understand? Window of preparedness is also closing. Those caught off guard by what is coming will find themselves completely dependent on exactly the wrong people for their survival. They will be at the mercy of the globalist cartel. Since this is a predator class of psychopaths, you do not want to be dependent on them for anything. If viewed in a vacuum, the headlines of today would not be sending up red flags of warning. But when you look at them in totality, it becomes clear something big is going down that will forever reshuffle the deck of global power and change our outlook going forward. The bottom line is that this is no time for normalcy bias. We are already in the beginning stages of World War III with Russia in Eastern Europe, in Syria and with Africa and Asia getting ready to explode as well. I think it is inevitable that World War III continues to escalate into the outbreak of direct day-to-day -day warfare between the world's two major nuclear powers, 
roughly divided by east and west, with the U.S., NATO, Australia, Japan, South Korea on one side, and Russia, China, Iran, North Korea on the other side. The U.S. and Great Britain, along with the rest of their NATO vassal states, procured this war with Russia by continually expanding the NATO military alliance eastward into Russia's backyard. NATO politicians and commanders have been talking about their open-door policy for at least 20 years, and this is like pouring salt into an open wound as it relates to Russia and its history of being invaded from the West. The 2008 NATO invited Ukraine into the alliance pending at meeting certain criteria, and that was really the last straw. Ever since that overture, it was just a matter of time before Russia sent its forces into Ukraine. It's no different than when Israel periodically sends its forces into Palestinian territories to clean out those areas of rockets, weapons, and ammunition dumps. You'd be surprised at how many uh, conservatives understand Israel's need to live amongst its Palestinian cousins without those cousins being armed to the teeth, yet they do not understand the same concept applies to Russia and Ukraine. As the nations line up and draw the battle's lines for World War III, India is the wild card. This is not the old India. It is the fastest growing nation. It has a lot of technical expertise and it can field a huge army. It could make the difference in who wins World War III depending which side it decides to join. Once World War III ratches up, we're looking at a nationwide draft in the U.S. heading into an election year, which means the potential outbreak of civil war on U.S. soil at the same time we're involved in World War. Then you're looking at cyber attacks, possible false flag attacks, a new and scarier pandemic, a historic famine and supply chain disruptions exacerbated by war or some combination of the above, all brought on by an intensified, intensifying World War III. This will not be a time for weak Christians or feeble-minded Westerners used to their in, uh, entertainment and cre creature comforts. The way things are going, I foresee a combination of at least three or four of the above scenarios taking place simultaneously. Think about the impact that would have on everyday society. Below are some data points pointing toward a catastrophic event that will forever change the world. Now, if you scroll down, if you go to this site, you're going to see a whole bunch of things that have already been taking place and what we're seeing in the headlines that have taken place and are taking place. And it's astounding. Bottom line, war is coming along with all of its nasty byproducts. This will con include growing inflation and de-dollarization, shortages of food, fuel, and basic medications, and an intensifying assault on all forms of free speech, freedom of religion, freedom of movement, assembly, the Second Amendment, etc. We must resist this assault on our freedoms while knowing that no man or human organization is coming to our rescue. We bear responsibility for the safety and security of our families. Anyone still looking for a quick fix brought on by the voting booth is not paying attention to the signs and signals. We will not get to November 2024 without experiencing another major event triggered by the globalists and their minions who share the Luciferian hatred of God's crowning achievement, human life created in, in his image. We must stand strong in our convictions, both political and religious, and refuse to bow to the beast system while knowing that our Father in heaven holds the ultimate trump card and will bring down this network of evil in his timing and on his schedule. Now, you don't have to be a Christian or a religious person to understand what's going on here and of course do your homework it doesn't matter if you're religious non-religious whatever or christian or non-christian it doesn't matter what matters is that you understand the message okay understand the message do your own homework 
And like I've always been saying, and you've heard other people say this, always be prepared for any kind of emergency. Don't have food just for a week or a couple of days. We're looking at several years. If we get into a situation like this, you want to be really ready for for quite some time. And don't, t don't dally on this any further. You know, get on the ball, get your family involved, uh, knowing how to help one another if, if one is sick or whatever. You know, do take some CPR lessons, um, take some wound care lessons, uh, what to do with uh, teeth that are a problem. You know, do your research, do your homework. Don't sit around and just read about this and think about it. Start taking action because if this is true, if all what this guy is, this uh, these people are saying, then you better be prepared. Everybody better be prepared because it's going to be a doozy, okay? It's going to be one heck of a deal, and you better be ready. Now, read this over at thegatewaypundit.com, and it's a uh, Leo Holman, Globalists Have Another Shock, Event Plan in Pursuit of the Four Ds. So look it up. That was uh, posted September 28th, 2023.